Hey y'all, welcome back to another video vlog, vacation vlog here on my channel, Putting Up With The Pom Pons. I am Shantae, and in this video, I'm gonna be taking y'all on my weekend trip to DC. We went to a barbecue festival, and we're gonna talk about nothing but food, of course, because food is the love of my life, absolutely. So if you are new to our channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button, come join the family. We would love to have you, and to all of my returning subscribers, hey mama, hey bestie, hey friend. All right, so we touched down here Saturday morning in downtown DC. We stayed at Hotel Washington and the d downtown area scene is just beautiful, picture aesthetic for like any and everything. And that's what I wanted the most out of my trip here. And this is the barbecue festival. It started at 11 and we didn't get here until about five and they shut down at seven. I tried to get my mom to have us come on Sunday instead of uh, the end of the first day because they were pretty much like wrapping it up cleaning it up a lot of people had kind of like shut down for the day but they still had music going and there were plenty of vendors so there was plenty of other options to choose from but i felt like if we would have came in the beginning that we would have saw so much more but it was all good so we chose this a little barbecue place it was right beside like the north carolina barbecue which was great and it's just my grumpy ass mama she had a problem with me recording my content anyway so my sister had got the burnt ends i had got Got this chopped chicken and of course my mom got this big ass turkey leg she had no business getting to begin with because she don't even like or she don't even eat like that so this was a macaroni cheese it looked so good and of course i'm going to show you guys all right i'm going to talk about this food i'm going to talk about this food all right so barbecue on point smokiness on freaking point meat was nice and pink and tender exactly what we be looking for when it comes to our barbecue all right so i had the chopped chicken sandwich and it's pretty much like a play on the pulled pork but i am not a fan of pulled pork and i got barbecue sauce sliding all down my mouth y'all it was good it was good the macaroni and cheese was not the best i i will say that it could have been better and then i tried my sister's a burnt on ends hers were fresh off the freaking grill so they was kind of burning my mouth they were nice and chewy and that fat oh my god the fat on beef is just like to die for i was messing that thing up it was a little bit chewy i felt like it could have been burnt a little bit more just a little bit more charred but it was good and then they had this homemade sauce and she drizzled it all over her her burnt ends and it was good it was so good they were really good and i want to say they also said they were out of virginia or north carolina so like a lot of these people came out of town to this barbecue festival because it really is like a huge big event so i'm trying my mama's turkey leg and i've never been a fan of like turkey or turkey legs like they can be good i'm just like it's not my go-to we stopped at the lemonade stand because everybody had these big ass cups of lemonades in their hand and it was at the end of the day like i mentioned before so the lemonade was not good i felt like they were trying to stretch it out they probably had it sitting somewhere in like ice trying to get it to stay cold it was very much watered down i was a little disappointed but it's okay then we found that this dough boy ice cream there was not a single soul in front of their little vendor i was a little concerned about that but we decided to give them a try because we saw this thing called a donut panini and my sister was just like yes i gotta try it now we were very basic because we had no clue what to do or what to expect so what it pretty much is is a donut that they slice in half add some ice cream and make it like an ice cream sandwich pretty much and then they put it in that little press and we did not know that so we were highly impressed okay I, I know that's like girl that's like the simplest thing to be impressed about but we were we were just like oh my god did she just put that in the little waffle maker completely in awe she pulls it back out and then cuts it in half for us because we told her that we were going to share it because me and my sister are lactose intolerant okay we can't be having a bunch of ice cream and dairy so she cuts it in half for us and we asked for like one half caramel and one half with chocolate sauce now they had plenty of other toppings but we really didn't know like what to choose they didn't really have like a menu of like the favorite items that people get or like a pre-made sandwich i feel like if they would have had and they probably did have a sign and i just won't pay no attention but um Okay. yeah we just didn't know we didn't know what to get so we've got something very basic but it looked so good and it was warm and i was afraid the ice cream was gonna melt but it was really good so as we were waiting for our ice cream sandwich my mama went and got this caramel kettle corn popcorn oh my god that popcorn was the shit so we found some tables that we could stand at and i was able to put my phone down so y'all could actually see me enjoying the food because holding it and trying to eat at the same time was not the business so here i am tearing up this damn ice cream sandwich it was really good it wasn't too sweet because i'm thinking like crispy cream donut it was a more like a duck donuts donut like it was a little cakey which was great because i love cakey donuts rather than the airy ones now i am sensitive to cold and hot 
hot so i'm over here trying to eat this stuff with my lips because i ain't wanting to hit my teeth because oh girl that pain is a different different dynamic so um it was melting and i was trying to hurry up and finish it as much as i could and i also tried my mama's popcorn and damn that popcorn was so good so he like of course home makes pops all this right then and there like as you're waiting for the popcorn he's over there on the little kettle like tossing it in the caramel sauce and everything I, the caramel sauce probably was homemade too because that it was like a different type of car like not like crunching much like it had this dark toastiness to it absolutely delicious and i'll make sure to shout them out too because they were really really good after we got done eating and tearing up that ice cream, we checked out a go-go sound stage. You in DC, you cannot be in DC and not listen to like five minutes of go-go music, okay? Now I grew up listening to go-go music because my daddy is from DC. So this was definitely nothing new for me. Like they do a lot of cover songs and it's just something about that live band and just hearing the drums going that just like really touches my soul. So after we stood there for probably about 10 minutes, let them finish like two or three cover songs. We went and checked out this Italian ice because my mom loves Italian ice ice it's all right for me it's not like the greatest but this was pretty good i got lemonade and my sister and my mom had a watermelon and we just kind of just stood there and just ate them uh, we, of course we had to move fast because it was hot but at this point everything's like shutting down everybody's kind of like on their way to the exits and cleaning up and stuff and i filmed my sister with these thighs and ice cream because <laughs> but here i am getting ready for dinner we made it back to the hotel and me and my sister had booked a, a reservation for the rooftop restaurant that was at our hotel hotel washington and it was called the view and then here we are in the lobby waiting for the elevator and the full-size mirrors were absolutely given so here is the rooftop you get straight up off the elevator they had so much political art like literally everywhere in this hotel had a nice scenic view definitely club late night club vibes um and it was nice you have this nice view of course of like the lincoln memorial and downtown dc which gives it its name the view the view is probably the best part of the entire restaurant um i guess later in, on the night it turns more into a club than a restaurant but we went there to eat because we was hungry after we had walked off all our barbecue um i had ordered this drink i believe it was called the first lady lemonade and it has like peppercorn on top of it with like that egg white foam it was it was all right it was it was all right it was definitely strong it was heavy handed with the liquor and i'm not mad about that so i try to finish it because i didn't want to waste you know my liquor money um but it got it had it had a nice little buzz to it it had like this nice tart and i love tart when it comes to my lemonade so it didn't bother me at all now my sister ordered the seafood linguine and i ordered some crab cakes because we are in dc baby i got you gotta have seafood you gotta have seafood maryland is the staple for crab cakes and blue crab so i damn sure made sure i got me some uh, crab cakes to our room in the elevator took some more pictures because my sister was cute in her little damn dress i'm trying to work on her confidence so she'll take more pictures with me and she be doing it okay this is the next morning we got ready for a brunch and as you can see i got me a wash and go in <laughs> yes i spent like three hours on this wash and go i took them braids out and decided i want to rock my natural hair on vacation because i rarely do that so i stole those shoes from my mama they look cute on me anyways I, the bag is from shoe dazzle and the outfit is from rainbows it is giving very much rich auntie vibes okay we went to this little brunch spot called the hamilton it was literally like a two minute walk it was right beside our hotel and this is pretty much their menu of what they serve you know your typical brunch stuff uh bacon eggs hash browns uh, grits you know um this is a nice little view that we had outside it was pretty it was pretty nice out there it was nice and breezy out there so we decided to sit outside plus the lighting was absolutely given and my wash and go was giving as well hello all right so i had ordered the peach sangria which my waitress said was one of their popular like cocktails and it was pretty good it had this nice little sweet like the peach wasn't overpowering because sometimes when you say peach anything i always think that they're gonna like overdo it on the peach but it wasn't it wasn't bad at all it had this nice little sparkle like to it taste to it very light very light not heavy at all um i usually prefer my red sangrias over white sangrias but this one was pretty decent and it had like a little orange slice in there to kind of help with the aroma and stuff and whatnot but i was just looking cute in my purple 
people <laughs> okay all right you just see me sipping on my my little alcohol and we just sitting there talking and whatnot so here is my food i ordered the biscuit and gravy my mom ordered some bacon and the french toast it had this lemon custard on it it was so damn rich and good and my sister ordered the crab cakes because we have to have crab cakes we are our father's child we love our seafood okay and then that's my grumpy ass mama but she was actually looking cute that day because i put some lashes on her <laughs> hey mama so here i am setting up to eat i had ordered my egg over easy because my daughter is trying to teach me how to eat eggs correctly i am usually not a fan of eggs but i'm trying to learn how to enjoy them again because they are pretty much a staple for breakfast like you got to have eggs somewhere in your breakfast so this had like fried chicken with gravy and the biscuit a homemade biscuit was underneath all of that and then they topped it with the over easy egg and put like some garnishments on there oh my god it was so damn good like very much southern homegrown like feel from it mm -hmm. so the waitress that we had she's from north carolina as well and when she told us that i was just like, okay well i trust your judgment when it comes to my food so what what is good here and she recommended the biscuit and gravy she was just like you have to have it like i love it so damn much it reminds me of home i said baby sign me up and she was not lying like y'all see that jewel I am drooling over my damn plate. That's how good this damn chicken and wa and uh, chicken and gravy with the biscuit, yeah. all of it. Yeah, so I was yeah. trying to like make sure I had a piece of everything in each it's bite because so it was just so damn good. So here's my second glass of sangria because after I finished the first one, uh, the waitress came back around and we sitting there just boop, you know, talking. And I was just like, yeah, girl, go ahead, sign me up for another one. So we headed back to the hotel. I did another outfit change to something more casual and comfortable because we wanted to do a little bit of walking downtown, also so I can get me some pictures. So here is pretty much what the aesthetic is downtown. Pretty much these sure like old like colonial buildings. Like they're updated buildings, okay. but they still have that colonial feel and look to them. I loved it. Love the scenery. Abs absolutely love the scenery. And of course, you can't go to D.C. without seeing a protest. And they were protesting for the abortion rights that they just banned in several states. Y'all go, girls. Okay. They was out there chanting. They had the police out there escorting them so don't nobody fuck with them. And I like that. I love that a lot. So after that, I went ahead and changed again because it was time to get ready for dinner. I put on something a little bit more comfortable, but it was a little cold or outfit because I love my cold or outfits. They're so simple and they're so cute. And my booty was given. So we checked out this place called the matchbox um i don't know how we ended up here i think we saw it in a review somewhere and the spinach dip was so damn good we was messing that thing up the cheese pool was absolutely like insane and then they had these nice chunks of artichoke in there and i'm not really a big fan of artichoke probably the only time i really do eat it is if it's in a spinach dip but it was delicious the chips are definitely like made in restaurant they were nice and crispy and light and they weren't overly salty because i don't like really salty like tortilla chips when it comes to eating my spinach dip so for our entrees i had ordered this spicy pizza my mom ordered this lobster roll and it was supposed to be like a main lobster roll and then my sister ordered chicken and waffles um now i didn't even try their stuff because i was too busy effing up my damn pizza because i was so freaking hungry but my mama's lobster roll looked real good and she finished it so i'm assuming it must have been good so here i am just trying out my pizza i like to put red pepper flakes on mine because i'm a spicy queen okay and they had this big slice of like red pepper on there and all this like cilantro and basil on there it was good and tons of onions and i love onions on my pizza the sauce was nice um it was the crust wasn't like my favorite it's definitely a restaurant made crust like not one of those like frozen ones like it's definitely dough but um i just felt like it wasn't as crispy as it could have been i feel like it could have been a little bit crispy i don't i don't know if that's just me i prefer my crust to be like nice and have like a nice crunch now the outside of it did but like that center if that center is a little too gooey i will be highly upset and i do not enjoy it very much but um, we sat there for probably about an hour. So I'm tearing down my damn pizza while we sitting there talking. So after this night, we wake up the next morning. This is our last day in DC. And we hit up another brunch spot called the Founding Farmers. And it's a little bit further into the downtown area. Had a nice little outside patio and you walk in and it's supposed to be like a farmhouse to table restaurant. So everything is very much like off the farm you know on the truck and into the kitchen and you definitely get that vibe getting walking in there me and my sister ordered these espresso shots and i'ma just let y'all like we talked so much shit about this damn coffee and i was dying laughing
Like you really can't take me or my sister nowhere. We be cutting up. So we ordered some beignets and it came with a raspberry caramel and a chocolate sauce. The caramel was like this nice and toastiness and the chocolate like really tasted like they just melted a like Hershey's chocolate bar. And then the raspberry had this nice like very much like tart taste to it. It was perfect pairing it with that sweet beignet. The beignets were nice and crispy on the outside with that powdered sugar and gooey and flaky on the inside exactly what you're looking for when you are talking about a beignet oh my god that was probably the best beignet i've ever had definitely hi highly recommend if you do check out found and farmers do not skip out on getting that beignet that was probably the best part of the entire meal so when it came to our breakfast we had all ordered pretty much the founding farmers like breakfast entree and it's pretty much where you can choose your bread choose your side choose your meat um, I believe I had got bacon, hash browns, and over easy eggs with a biscuit. I think my mom had got like toast, tomatoes, and hash browns. And I believe my sister got some pancakes, eggs, and sausage. So very basic with the, the breakfast menu, but you're getting this like fresh quality taste in all of the food. Really good. Okay, you got the yeah, this is much stronger than my stuff. Yeah. So we really had some good laughs at breakfast, just eating and conversating, catching up and whatnot. Um, that lemonade, everything is literally like house made, homemade, whatever you want to call it. Like, oh my God, like freshly squeezed everything, just really my one of my favorite restaurants so between the hamilton and the founding farmers they they are tied for first place because i loved both of them as far as like brunch places because usually like brunch you're getting your typical items but i just love the spin that they all kind of had on it um but really good stuff really good um the barbecue festival was nice it was nice to just spend time with my sister and my mama um definitely a trip that i will probably do again now my hotel was not the best where we stayed at the hotel washington i don't really talk about much of that in the beginning because i didn't record much of it i was not impressed with the staff whatsoever the aesthetic of the building was nice and that was pretty much the only thing they had going for them um but downtown dc 
definitely highly recommend there's so many things you can do that are like walking distance we parked the car and didn't move it no further than that and i'm kind of glad we did because parking down there is terrible we from the south we don't do parallel parking and that was a challenge for us little southerners okay we didn't know what we was doing and i'm pretty sure people was probably cussing us out and they just knew we was not from there that is fine i will be the tourists all right i know when i am not this is not where i am from okay that's all good so we hopped back in the car and made our way back home to to North Carolina y'all it was a nice little two-day trip something to just like get away enjoy being not at home but I was so ready to get back home to my babies and that is it y'all thank you for joining us on a another travel vlog we will see y'all on another one be blessed and be safe